Hello everyone, I'm Ashley. Welcome to Wix Made Simple, where I help make Wix simple. Today we are doing something very straightforward, but very useful. We're going to learn how to create a coupon. So coupons are a great way to promote a class or a product or whatever it is that you want to offer a discount on, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So from within your site dashboard, you can go down to your marketing tab over on this left-hand dark gray menu and scroll down to coupons. That is where you're going to see all of the coupons that you've created, whether they're active, how many times they've been used. Um, a shortcut that I use for a lot of things on the back end, this dashboard area of my sites, is that I will just use this search bar up here. So say I forgot which category is it in on the left, I will actually just type it in the search bar up here and then it'll bring you to the same place. So that's kind of a quick tip if you just can't remember. They move things around over here on the left often too. So that is just an easy way to find what you need. So from within this little coupons area, we can see that we can go and create a new coupon. You might have had a kind of example loaded into your site based on one of the apps that you've installed. If it's not accurate or appropriate for your site, you can go ahead and delete that. But to create a new coupon, we're going over here to this blue button in the right hand corner and we're clicking new coupon. From there, we get to decide, is this a dollar amount that we're taking off of a sale? Is it a percentage amount? And depending on which of those types of coupons that you want to offer, it's going to adjust this discount uh, amount down here. So say we want to do a $20 off coupon, we would set it to a dollar discount. We would create that $20 discount here. If it's a percentage, it's just going to be a percentage as opposed to a dollar amount. And then you're going to enter the coupon code. And this is the actual code that you are using to promote that you are going to tell your customers, hey, type this in at checkout for your $10 off or your 5% off or whatever your uh, promotion is. So the coupon code is going to go here. And then you can also name this coupon. And that's really just for your own reference. So if you're running a particular promotion and you want to keep track or if you are maybe offering a discount to return customers or something along that, you can kind of keep track on the back end of what coupon is what. And then after you've determined the amount and you've named your coupon, then you're going to choose what that coupon applies to. Now, the drop down menu for this particular um, like option here is going to depend on which apps you have installed on your site. So if you are using Wix stores to sell products, you're going to see that here. You can choose between all of the products in your store or specific categories or specific products. Um, if you're selling plans, you can choose between all of the plans or specific plans, or you can do something more general, general like add um, this coupon to a minimum order subtotal. So this apply to field is where you're going to get really specific about what somebody can use this coupon code for. You also get to determine if there is an expiration date. So maybe your promotion is time sensitive and it's only valid between a certain start date and a certain end date. That is where you're going to enter the information here, as well as um, limiting the number of uses for this coupon. So you have the option to kind of get specific about how many times this coupon can be used um, if you only want to offer a certain number of opportunities you know the first 50 customers or something like that the first 10 people who register you can limit the total number of uses for that particular coupon once you have all of those fields filled in that is where you're going to click create coupon and then it's going to show here in your um, on your dashboard that you have a particular discount available, what it is, um, what type it is, and then I'm going to move my head around for a second here. And then you can even see how many times it's been used. If you did set that particular coupon to expire at a certain point, you would see that that coupon code was no longer active. You can also make adjustments to ex existing coupons um, through this area where you can click on the ellipses and then um, edit it, duplicate it, promote it, or deactivate it. And that's really it. It's pretty straightforward. It's a great way to um, give a little bonus to your customers or 
uh, to use when you're launching a, a program or a class or a new product. Uh, if you have any questions about your Wix site, if you started your project and you have DIY'd it and you got stuck, I am available for one-on-one -on -one private training. So you can schedule 30 minutes with me. We do a screen share where we go through your whole site and whatever problems you are running into, we're going to solve them. Um, I did have 30 minutes and one hour training sessions available. So if you like today's video or if you have an idea for a video, leave me a comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time.